Okay, for this fly, we're going to tie a foam grasshopper. It's a pretty big fly, and that's what the end result is going to look like. Um, so let's get started. So what we're fishing, what we're tying on is a size 8 2 by long dry fly hook. And um, we'll be using black thread, because I like to use the black thread to make the segments visible. So to start off with, first thing we're going to do is got this six millimeter foam, closed cell foam. I'm going to cut off a section right up here, about a little bit longer than the length of the hook. So I'm going to cut that off, cut myself a little strip of it. So there it is. I'm going to place that right on the hook. Looks like it's about the right length. Might be a little long, but we can trim that. And in order to do this, I like to run this right up through the hook. So I'm going to take my bodkin here and I'm going to run a little hole right from the tip, angled back through the foam so that it comes out just like that. Okay, and with that, and I can take this. And I can slide that foam right onto the hook, just like that. Okay, so now we've got our foam on there. Okay, the next step is let's get our thread connected to the fly. So I'm going to tie my black thread in right about there. Some good tight wraps so that it's on there fastened pretty good. Cut my thread. And to start off with, I'm going to create the body of this fly. So the first thing I'm going to do is my first wrap over the top of the back, maybe a little less, about a quarter inch long, and I'm going to make a couple of tight wraps just like that. You notice that one actually was connected to the shank of the hook. After that, the rest of my wraps will not be. So I'm going to wrap over the hook and bring that thread around the foam, but not around the hook. Really all I'm doing is creating the segments of this foam hopper here. And I, move, I transition and move to the next segment when I come across the top of the fly, because that'll be a little bit more covered when I, uh, when I go to tie in the the wings, which will be L care. So, okay, so now that I've done that, I'm probably going to trim the back a little bit. I'm going to bring this thread forward. Again, notice the, the crisscrossing is happening along the back of the fly. And I'm just going to wrap forward, get one wrap around the foam as I go, and Bring my thread and fly right back to the front. Okay, that looks good. Now the next step is, is with this fly, I like to add a little bit of flash to it. So I'm going to take a little bit of crystal, a little bit of flash here, a little, little chartreuse flashing, crystal dubbing, or not crystal dubbing, crystal flash, and just tie it in just like that. And what that's going to do is that'll just get that'll get mixed in with the elk hair for the wings, and just adds a little bit of a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of flash to it. So there we go. That looks nice. Next, got to put on the elk hair. So I've got my elk hair patch here, and I've used various types of hair for this fly. Actually, I've used antelope in white before. It looks kind of cool. And uh, maybe I'll show you one of those here once we're done, just the difference. And the concept is the same. You tie the same way. It just has, you're just using white antelope hair instead. I've used deer hair, but I prefer to like, I prefer to work with elk hair. It just works better. It's a nicer, nicer hair to tie with. So putting the elk hair in my stacker, get it stacked. That looks pretty good. Okay, so I'll take my elk hair, 
lay it right on top of the back of this fly. Notice it's not as long as the foam, but we're going to trim that anyway. So once I get it where I want it, I'm going to hold it nice and tight. First wrap is loose until I get all the way around. And I'm going to pull tight. You're going to see that elk hair flare a little bit. That's good. That means I'm getting a good tight, good tight uh, wrap on it. And then as I, as I wrap down on it, I like to kind of move the bobbin back and forth a little bit. It just helps weave it right down into that, into that foam and that elk hair, tightening it up. So, okay. That feels pretty good. I'm going to take this excess stuff on the front, trim it. Trim it as best we can, and then what we'll end up doing is we'll put some dubbing over the top of it, so that, uh, so that it kind of covers it. Okay, there we go. That looks good. Yeah, got the smell care down there. We need to trim. Okay, next step is I'm going to tie in some uh, some rubber legs. Got to grab those. I like to use white, so I'm going to grab my, get myself a little strip of white rubber legs, tie them in right here, top of the fly, right now they're connected so I'm going to use my scissors to split them. Notice I tied them into the top of the fly, but once I get them split, I move them to the sides so that the legs are on both sides of the body here. Then I'll get a couple of tighter wraps to try to fasten it down a little bit. Make sure they're not going to move once I'm doing a little bit of casting with them. Okay, we've got our rubber legs. We've got our elk hair, got our flash on it. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of dubbing. You can use whatever color you want. I think on this one, I'm going to use a little bit of a, just a little bit of a, kind of a caddis color. Give it a little bit of a contrast to the body, but not a lot. So I'm going to put my dubbing on here. I'm just going to wrap it right in between those rubber legs. be back. Wrap that dubbing in there. Kind of moves the legs right where you want them. And then I like to finish this fly in the front so I just bring it, I just bring the thread right to the front. Make some wraps and then I'm going to whip finish it. Now I could whip finish it back where I put the dubbing in, but it won't, the knot won't hold as well because it's over the top of foam, which is a little bit spongier. So if I do it in the front, I found that my flies will hold up longer because my, my whip finish knot is a much tighter knot. So, okay, so there you have it. The uh, foam hopper fly right there. Uh, really good fly. Floats well, casts well, and uh, Definitely catches fish.